Do you want to know how to improve your eyesight and prevent it from deteriorating? So stay with me until the end and I will show you a cheap and simple way with no negative side effects. What I want to present are quite unusual glasses for current conventional medicine. We can meet them under several different names. Pinhole glasses, Ayurvedic glasses, multi shutter glasses, stenopay glasses, or anti fatigue glasses. The most popular names are Ayurvedic or pinhole. They were invented thousand years ago in the Far East when contact lenses were not yet known. The glasses came to Europe from today's India. The symbol in the center of the Indian flag Ashoka Chakra is a representation of Dharma Chakra. But it looks like an eye to me. Ayurvedic glasses are part of bigger picture of Ayurveda. The word Ayurveda in Sanskrit means knowledge of longevity or simply saying science of life. Such as medicine, but not as we know it now, but more natural. Treatment of problems with nose, mouth, ears and eyes. Keeping the body and mind youthful. Methods of conceiving a child and choosing a gender. Problems with infertility, sexual pleasure and transformation of sexual energy into spiritual. There are topics about epidemics and toxins as well as surgical techniques. Now let's take a look at construction. Ayurvedic glasses are glasses without lenses. They are replaced by an open disc in which many holes are made, resembling a colander. They are universal. One pair can be used as a change for a whole family. We can distinguish four types for men's, women's, kids and unisex. The first difference is in the size of glasses compared to average size of head of women, men or a child. Another and the last significant difference is the size and the spacing of the holes. In short, smaller holes means the eyes have to work much harder to see sharply and the vision is much darker than when the holes are larger. Since there is no glass, there is no diopters or other parameters, however, we can say that they operate in the wide range of diopters from negative to positive, from minus to plus. These glasses do not reduce or enlarge vision seen, but reduce the vision defects and therefore perceive the image more sharply. This effect is the most important. The main feature of these glasses are fact that they correct both myopia, farsightedness, astigmatism and other vision defects. They stimulate the natural function of the eye depending on the individual needs of person. Whether it is still wearer of glasses or corrective lenses. As post-operative condition, when the determination of correct vision correction is difficult and the eye conditions changes from day to day. Then these glasses reduce the mobility of the eyes, so as not to abuse the eyes. An additional advantage of using these glasses after surgery is that the amount of light reaching the eyes is reduced. The eye works in such a way that the light ray reflected from the observed object passes through cornea, anterior chamber, pupil lens and vitreous humor. This is how it works in simplification. Passing through the all eye structures involved in the process of seeing, it is refracted and focused in the beam of light. A focus is formed on retina, where the miracle of vision begins. Photoreceptors, rods and cones convert light stimuli into electrical impulses. However, it is worth knowing that at this point the image is inverted and reduced. And the ropes. 
that are responsible for seeing in the dark, while the cones read the color. Electrical impulses travel along the nerve to the brain, via the optic nerve. The brain produces the image that we see. It is inverted again. The disruption of one of the steps in this process leads to visual impairment. Let's see on the diagram how the correct vision looks like. The most important thing is that the light is focused in the right place, on the retina. Now let's move on to nearsightedness, known as myopia. The light here is focused in the front of the retina. Then we got farsightedness called hyperopia. The light here is focused behind the retina. And we also have astigmatism occurs when either the front surface of your eye, the cornea, or the lens inside your eye has mismatch curves. Instead of having one curve like a round ball, the surface is egg-shaped. This causes blurred vision at all distances. Astigmatism can often occur in conjunction with myopia or hyperopia. As we can see in the picture, the rays of light intersect at different points. The next slide contains an overview of the previous ones. You can compare it calmly and I will continue the next part of the content. Traditional medicine corrects diseases by using appropriate lenses, contact lenses or glasses, that modify the radius. In this way, they remove some of his work from the eye, make it, it lazy. And as we know, the unused muscle will soon disappear. Alternative medicine tries to do the opposite. It wants to restore the normal function of the eye, forcing to act, thereby strengthening it. Commonly used methods of eye exercises are, for example, eye yoga or the Bates method. The disadvantage of the Bates method is need to devote time to systematic and regular rehabilitation about an hour a day. Ayurvedic glasses solve the problem because they force the eye to work harder during everyday activities. The procedure doesn't require addition time in a busy schedule, which increases the degree of accommodation. Therefore, the essence of Ayurvedic glasses is that by limiting peripheral vision, they stimulate our motility. They restore the normal functioning of the eyes, which is impaired due to the use of corrective lenses, prolonged staring at text or computer screens and TV sets. Thanks to this, the blood circulation is also improved, which results in elimination of fatigue effect. Ayurvedic glasses are the great way to pamper your eyes after hard day's work, get rid of pain and restore visual acuity. And this is how the light enters the eye at the right angle through the glasses. Already after the first insertion, you can see the amazing properties of the glasses. Visual acuity clearly improves. It is very tiring to look through them at first, as a sign that the eyes are working. This is a completely new experience for the eyes. Therefore, just after insertion, the eye has to get used to looking differently, through small holes, for a long time. Therefore, it is recommended to introduce their use gradually without abusing the eyes. At first, it is recommended to use glasses for a short time. With gradual increase in time of use, the improvement in vision will be noticeable while wearing the glasses and shortly after taking them off. But this time, if we practice systematically, will be longer and may turn into permanent correction. Noticeable effects are noted after a few weeks, like 5, 6. The target use of the glasses is approximately 3 hours a day. We wear them during everyday activities. At home, reading, watching TV, or using the computer. On a daily basis, people with myopia should use glasses to look at things distant, for example, during walks and far-sighted people need to use them for reading, writing, etc. In individual cases of vision defects, you should experiment with the glasses to adjust them to your way of seeing. However, they should not be used in situation where the wide field of view is necessary. Just like when driving a car or other vehicle, 
or even with working with tools such as saws, milling machines, grinders, lathes, etc. And I also have my autobiographical outline. About 10 years ago, because of long time I spent at computer mainly playing the games, my eyesight was deteriorating and I usually wore corrective glasses for uh, 2 years. In the eye control test there was no improvement effect after 2 years. So I started to looking for natural ways to improve my eyesight. Yes. And that's how I found Ayurvedic glasses. After a year of systematic use, my eyesight improved so much that I stopped using them systematically. And now I use them from time to time. And finally, I should add that I'm not a doctor. And the information that I present here and on my channel in general comes from my experience and the research I did on given topic. You don't have to take my word for it. I encourage you to check me out. Do your own research. Try it out and practice, practice, practice. And share your experience in the comments after just few months of practice. And if you find any value here, don't hesitate to be full to like, to be full to subscribe and to be full to share it. Yo!